Hey guys, it's Eli Infante and I'm excited to break down this three light photo using two FJ200s and the FJ80. In order to get a shot like this, it's important to slow down and you want to break it up into pieces. So the first objective was to get the pose down and then add the key light because I just strictly want to see what the key light is doing. I was using the FJ80 as my main light with the Joel Grimes Beauty Dish. In order to add dimension to the photograph and to add some real lights, I added two FJ200s at 45 degrees to the model and I did two different versions, one without gels and one with orange and a red gel to give it more of a color pop. So all right now, Daniel, I'm just getting the lighting. We don't have to worry about posing. Once the lights look good, then I'll tell you to pose, okay? So you can kind of just chill, do your thing. Don't worry about it. Three, two, one. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Yeah, leave it right here. Yeah, yeah. Good. Beautiful, Danya. Awesome. Looking at me, looking at me. Good, looking down again, close your eyes. Good. It's important to remember when you do a photograph like this to make sure all of the light's power outputs are balanced before you use something like the smoke bombs. You don't wanna waste a bunch of smoke bombs trying to be in a rush. You wanna get the perfect pose make sure that you get the catch light. So it's all the little details that are gonna matter in order to get an epic shot at the very end. Let us know in the comments which photographs you prefer, the ones with gels or without gels. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe.